it shows you cell density, and in aggressive tumors, the cell density is increased, velocity of water is decreased, and it's the black hole of the tube, and the right one. When you see a lesion like this over here, it's indistinct, it's, it's a three, non-circumscribed, non-encapsulated, hypertensive lesion. And it's, uh, not only because of the three plus three, but Dr. Barron's, when he lectures three three, he, he uses the rule of fourth, the heterogeneity of the tumor, uh, and that means the numbers will vary from one end to the other, and you will move the mouse and press the alt button at the same time, and this one says 645 or 600, or something going on in the right vertical <coughs> So find the lowest part by clicking the right spot, so the lowest part is for a three, so I target. Or a five. Five. Well, I'm sorry that I didn't measure that seven millimeters. The, the lymph node itself is round in shape and irregular. So you still want to see if areas that look hemorrhagic uh, are still suspicious. Um, okay, so we can see that this case does not have um, history. So it is always helpful to check if there is any um, residual hemorrhage on the uh, T1 MRI. So I'm scrolling from Apex. The settings. But you can use the normal turbo spin echo receivers. So if there's motion, you just repeat a normal turbo, turbo spin echo? Yes. Yes. Yeah. And if it's not good, if it's still not good, then we do a blade. Yes. This is fast, because this is fast. Yes. It gives a little bit less quality.